Here it comes. Healthcare in America. And then bike lanes. And then driving pains. It's a pain in the ass. And you gotta move your ass and keep your uh, keep your wheels off the grass. That ain't for you. Healthcare in America, I mean, it's hysteria. It's like a dystopian hellscape, it's a dysteria. And I've only got this cough that won't quit at all. Wait until I'm really sick and headed for the fall. I mean, you gotta go over there, you gotta stand tall, I guess you gotta stand up for your shit, they're gonna keep taking it away from you. It never ends. I mean, you can't, you know, it's devastating if you go to the hospital, you're not supposed to, and they deny your claim, and then you got this chest x-ray you gotta pay for, and those are like 14, 15, I mean, that's an old number. It's probably like $2,500. So now I gotta wait, see if I get this bill in the mail for that. And what about the doctor's visit? They tested me for COVID and the RSC and the RV and the BD and the do-do-do. What do, what, what do those cost? $80 each? $100 each? And it's like 5 bucks over at the CVS. Man, I should have stayed home with my sick ass, you know? Don't go to the doctor. Just fucking live it out, man. I mean, what the hell's going to happen? Maybe you got the gout. Maybe there's a reason your foot hurts. Maybe it's not that big a deal. What, are they going to test your blood sugar? You know what that costs? It's like $8,500 for one little blood stick. And the, the chick's bad at it anyway, and you're going to have a bruise on your arm. For what? So they can tell you they gotta go live on a farm and go vegan, you know, try try the Regan deal, you know, and, and that's that's your new life, you know what I mean? You gotta eat sticks and seeds and stems and weeds and all those kind of things. You can't have a steak anymore, you can't have any flavor anymore, you gotta wait and eat when you're when you when you're you can eat when you're dead, bro. Just eat when you're dead, you know that's how they say it. So that's the way it's gonna be, man. Healthcare in America. It's a hellscape, dysteria. And all I got is this cough that won't quit. Wait until I'm really sick. just incenses you. In the middle of the night, you see this guy, you know, a hipster hippie guy with the long hair, no helmet, on his goddamn bike, in the road with the, with the cars. They built all of these bike lanes. They've reconstructed the whole city. They made, they made it really hard for pedestrians to walk, all in the service of these bicycle lanes. And the guy's on the street with the cars. Look, man, not for nothing. I don't want to see you in the fucking street with your bike, with these goddamn bike lanes. I know they're annoying. They didn't design any of it correctly. It's all bullshit. But that shit's for you, and you need to get your stupid ass there, man. I don't need to see you in the street with the other cars. You slow us down. They've, they've, they've ravaged these cities, even out where I live. They're ruining the roads for these bike lanes it's amazing it's like they have these i guess all the old people that worked for the cities all quit with the pandemic so you got these fool millennials with their traffic models and their ai generated traffic patterns and they think they're making the roads better you know what they ain't doing they ain't making the roads better they put a four-way stop up by my house here you know who knows how to use a four-way stop correctly freaking zero goddamn people there's not a person and you get two kinds of people you got people that are you know deer in the headlights no idea what to do and you got all the other people that just don't give a shit and they're gonna go they're not gonna wait for you they don't care if right away they don't care you got over there before them they're just gonna go so now that intersection which was fairly dangerous to cross is way more dangerous to cross because let's put a four-way stop in there now you could put a light there and you could put you could dig up the road and you could put the pressure plates so it recognizes the cars and then you'd have a properly functioning light at that intersection but why do that when you could spend eighty dollars on a couple of stop signs and say four-way stop you pluck them down in there and you make it our problem you made it our problem and guess what it's a problem
She said, where do you live that you can practice like that? I mean, you know, you need a deaf old landlady that can't hear the prices right, let alone your multiphonics. But all the old ladies are dead, and all that's left is these uppity millennials who are into these houses for three quarters of a million dollars, and they want to have it their way. They want to have quiet, subservient tenants. You know, who don't make any noise, don't party at all, so that their spectrumy little larva can sleep, you know? And they can do their, their, their yoga in the morning, you know, without any sound, and they can work from home without you working from home also. You know, these work from home situations. It used to be roommates, you had roommates, but everybody went to work, you know, and you're around a little bit. But now everybody works from home. That's not a roommate. That's an annoying pest. I mean, what are we talking about, work from home? Get the heck out of here. I'm the one who has to work from home. I need a place to practice. I need a place to put a reed on the horn and get some sounds out. Maybe learn a tune, maybe write a tune, you know, maybe teach a lesson, a Zoom lesson. I still got to give example. I got to play a little bit, you know. These Zooms, the Zoom lessons don't talk and teach themselves. It's not a lecture, you know. Uh, you got to play. And this lady, she doesn't want it any time of the day, you know. Of course, now they got a dog downstairs, and the dog barks and cries and whines when they're not there. Jesus Christ. I'd be happy as a pig of shit when that woman isn't there. But, you know, dogs, they don't get it, and they love you, so they want you there. You know, so the damn thing howls, and they leave little poop bags out on the yard, you know. It just these people are garbage, filth, absolute filth, and they're everywhere now. You know, people are, they're absolutely positive they can have it exactly their way, you know, that they can get exactly what they want, they can have it exactly their way. And we're all going to have to rent from these people. No one can buy anything anymore. I don't know, maybe they both work at Google, but maybe the, the millennial husband is a lawyer and she's a doctor or whatever, but the rest of us are going to have to rent from these people. It's unbelievable, man. Uh, you know, your little subservience, and your, your quiet HOA, you know. Oh, you can't do this and you can't do that and blah, 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 blah. You know, it didn't used to be like that. It used to be when you rented from somebody, they took your money, but they didn't get to tell you how to live. They didn't get to tell you how to live. But we don't live in that world anymore because everybody gets to tell everybody else how to live and everybody gets to have it their way. Everybody gets to be right for being wrong. Right for being wrong. You get to be right for being wrong. And it's gone on too long. (laughs) 